Hey, what's up everyone? Um, sitting outside, enjoying the day. It's kind of overcasty, the rain, maybe not, maybe it will, I'm not sure. Um, I've been sick a little bit, so I don't really wanna get caught in the rain at all. So let's just, uh, you know, rest up and stop being sick for a change. Anyway, the, re the reason for this message or this video is that, you know, I've realized that, um, you know, the journey that I've been on and I feel like I've overcome or um, I am winning at it is because of the fact that, you know, I've decided that certain things are non-negotiable. Number one, my peace. Number two, my happiness. Two of those things directly correlated. One doesn't work without the other. So that's that's one of my, my main... Um, two things that, that I want to make sure that will never, ever get out of place again, ever. And it brought me back to thinking, um, you know, how did I get here? It hasn't been like, you know, roses and chocolate and ice cream. You know, it's been difficult. It's been rough. It's been, it's been really lonely sometimes. And, um, you know, it, it, it's something that you could say maybe it broke me at a point, some, some point my life um but they say right what doesn't kill you makes you only stronger it's a fact but uh so the reason for this uh, anyway let me go back to it i i kind of jumped the, the gun a bit is meditation someone asked me yeah do you meditate and i said well you know as soon as someone asked me that the first thing that i visualize is sitting in in, in this lotus position with your feet together and your your, your fingertips touching and this and that um while I don't really do that, uh, unless it's at yoga, because that's just a part of the program, um, I do, I think, meditate, because I had to look up what meditation actually means, because everybody's just throwing it around, nobody really knows what it is, but everybody seems to have an idea, and, you know, you just go with it, and, and sometimes that works, what works for one, maybe not work for another, uh, vice versa, so I, I don't say you shouldn't do it, go for it. Um, but for me, my happiness and peace have been defined by my introspection. And what, what I mean by that is I like to sit in solitude. Sometimes I like to just kind of chill out by myself like I'm doing here. Just kind of, and this may sound a little crazy, but who's normal? Um, I am meditating. I'm asking myself questions. I, I'm, I'm being very honest with myself. You know, who do you want to be when you grow up? Fuck, man, you're 50. Um, what, what's that mean? I'm going to die tomorrow? I got another 50 to go, bro. So the, the whole idea here is, you know, meditation is basically introspection. You need to figure out who you are, why you are, what you are, and what you want to be. Um, and have to be very honest with yourself. You know, take a step back. And I think why meditation works or why they suggest it is that you know it allows you to isolate yourself you isolate yourself from your environment your friends your work your people um, you take that time just for you and you take that time and you ask yourself the tough questions and then slowly you need to start figuring out you know what the priorities are um, some people journal some people don't I personally don't I have a decent memory I can remember 80% of the stuff that I want to remember and when something is really important I'll just make a voice note or just just uh, you know send myself a whatsapp message or something like that so um, you know, that's not a big deal but going back you need to find a time to be very brutally honest with yourself you know the way I did it and, and I'll be brutally honest you know I'm, I'm doing all this I'm working so hard like a dog six days a week I'm not really even getting paid you know I have no life and the worst part is just to get away from all that instead of meditating and stuff i started drinking smoking abusing myself just so i could go to sleep and just go ahead and repeat and i aged i gained weight i was depressed i was not happy i did contemplate suicide thank god you know uh things are kind of now just kind of well they have fallen into place and i'm not shy about admitting it um I am happy, I, I have peace, and I have set my boundaries, I've created my ecosystem. My ecosystem is something that was developed personally 
by my wants? What, what am I willing to deal with? Who am I willing to deal with? Family, friends, whatever, man. Sorry. If you don't have value to my life, you have no fucking business being there. So, um, let me keep this short. I'm just practicing and learning um, this whole thing. So, I just want to go back to go ahead and meditate. You can label it what you want, whatever makes you happy. You know, just, just make sure that you're honest with yourself, brutally honest. You know, I just wanted to retire. And I didn't have any way in which I could. So I sat down and I meditated and I, and I, I read, I looked at YouTube videos, which actually allowed me to go ahead and start doing this on my own here now. Um, it can be done. If you know me personally, or if you know people that know me, ask them what type of person I used to be. I used to eat McDonald's every day, every day for lunch. I used to drink almost every day, smoke two packs of cigarettes, 20. Uh, total 40 cigarettes a day, the 20 pack, not the smaller ones. So, you know, I think the idea here is stay the course. It can be done. And trust me when I say this, I'm, and I'm not really shy about it. I'm there, and I never want to be anywhere else. And I will die fucking maintaining this lifestyle. I promise you this. Because once you get here, just... I can't even explain it. It's just there's a certain peace and calm that just consumes you where the world can crum crumble and you'll be like, okay, cool. All right? So legal message with all of you guys. If you're having some issues, start looking on the internet. Start reading. Find something that connects with you. If it connects with you and, and it helps you develop or helps you um, get on the road to where you want to be, go for it. What do you got to lose? Just ask yourself, whatever you're feeling, the way you're feeling, how you're feeling, your life, the way it's going, and, and how you think it's going to go, a little bit of effort re required. My personal secret sauce are three things. Number one is make sure that there is a commitment from your end to never feel like this ever again or allow anyone to make you feel like this ever again. Number two is discipline. An uh, uh, old ex-colleague of mine Dr. DJ told me, Paul, you lack so much discipline. And I took that to heart. And that was the best advice I ever got while I didn't like it at the time. I told him to go fuck himself. But love that dude. He only had my best interest. And he knew that I wasn't seeing what needed to be seen. And, and you need people like that in your life and around. Those you keep around. Uh, not everybody requires to be around. You, know, you can have acquaintances. Go out, have a beer, shoot the shit, play some pool. Whatever the hell you do in life to enjoy, do it. But remember those three things. Commitment, discipline, and consistency. And if you really enjoy the way you're feeling and where your prospects are going, where your life is going, your financial, family, health, whatever you know, uh, issues in life you're facing, if, if, if you don't like how it's going, then do something about it. Because there's only one person who can. And it's not me. Go look in the mirror and tell that person who you're going to do it for. Be good. Be good at it. I'm here for you. Subscribe and like. Um, if not, watch, enjoy, take what you can away from it, and uh, love.